happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. And in solution, Kate. In out of the box. Hello, and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us, we have the realistic model number 12-655. This is a long-range TRF circuit AM portable radio. You can find these on eBay between $25 to $35. Mine was right around the $30 mark. I've been looking out for one of these for a long time. One came up for auction and thought I'd give it a go. Glad I did. This reminds me of a mini super radio. I'm loving it. It's a great radio. So let's go ahead and go over some dimensions and we'll talk about some more. So dimensions, we are nine inches across. We're about eight inches tall. We have a thickness about two and five eighths of an inch. So it's a fairly thick size radio. All right, so for size comparison, I got a couple little things I like to bring out. CC pocket. There you go, give you a general idea of the little radio compared to the big radio. Yep, still portable, liking it. Uh, here we got the CC Skywave, another way to show you size of the radios together. Trying to get a profile there, it's kind of hard, but you get the general idea. It's hard to put two big radios side by side on the table here. And then of course we have a deck of cards, again to give you perspective. Iron Man, he's the man with the master plan. He loves radios with TRF circuits in his hands. <laughs> you get it. All right, done. So let's talk about this radio. So long range TRF circuit, that means tuned RF circuit. Um, I know a little bit about this. Uh, not, not a lot of radios have it. Uh, there's a little tuner for the RF part portion of this radio in the beginning. And I'm gonna have some links down in my video description to kind of show you what that's all about. There's a full schematic on this guy's website, and I'm sure you won't mind me sending traffic to his site. He has the same exact radio, and he takes it apart so you can see inside. It looks similar to mine. He has his modified. It's a different power switch, a different power supply, but pretty much the same radio. Uh, he also goes into detail about some of the mods he did. But the big one was all on the bottom of his page. He has the entire um, manual to repair this with a repair manual. So you have parts lists, you have the different uh, components and different things, uh, just amazing and how to tune it. So yeah, when you look at the different stages and the ability to tune this radio, it's amazing. Um, I had to clean up my volume slider here. Uh, it was a little wonky. It wasn't doing volume past a certain, right, right about here it would stop and cut out. So I pretty much got that fixed. Uh, but when I was inside there, I noticed there's a lot of trimming capacitors. Uh, little tiny trimmers, which is pretty cool. So you can fine tune this radio to your heart's content. So let's go ahead and look over features. I had to go over that's fun. Oh yeah, by the way, this is uh, listed in the catalog, uh, Radio Sex catalog, 1977. Looks like the same radio. I'll put a little picture up here and you can see a picture there. And if you can make out the text, awesome. Uh, I believe this was like, what, $27, $29, something like that when it was brand new. And it was considered an AM specialist radio, which I thought was pretty cool. Let's go back to the table. Yeah, that picture was fun. Um, here we go, left-hand side. We got a two-color scheme going on. Um, over the years, it looks like it's faded. It was more of like a lighter gray. Now it's just like orange gray. <laughs> got the black plastics. The front's pretty cool. Um, we got a nice dial there. I really like that dial. Um, it says 520 to uh, 1620 in the back for frequency coverage. And you can see it's got a nice high visibility indicator and it has a nice log scale there, liking that. Uh, down here, uh, we have a spot for the AC cord, a spot for the 4C batteries, and a spot for the speaker. So the speaker is right here, and it's a 3-inch speaker. It's a fairly low profile because there's clearance issues because most of the circuit board is right here. You get an idea how that's built. Um, here we have our tuning knob. Here, of course, we have volume slider and tone control. Tone control is very handy. Our power switch, on and off. Uh, Right-hand side, the same as the left-hand side. Top of the radio, we have a built-in handle, which is nice. And it looks like we have some aluminum, aluminum embellishments. The person who had this radio before me used the heck out of it. <laughs> this thing was so dirty. Oh man, it was like brown when I got it. All right, so here's a vended case. Um, here's the tag. There you go, you can read that. There's your coverage, 520, 1620. During the day, I got the 1660, I believe. Um, so we'll see what we get tonight. Here you go, you get warning, so don't open it up. Uh, you'll see two little jacks here. We got an earphone jack, and then we have an external antenna jack. That's a pretty cool setup. 
This little jack here, um, there's a little wire that runs to the internal ferrite antenna, and it's wound on one side, and that's, what, that's how they teach you if you want to boost your reception of your radio and you're not afraid to go inside. Um, you can actually add your own jack and then run a little mini loop to your ferrite, and you can feed uh, whatever, you know, like a long wire or a passive loop antenna wire right into here, and it'll feed that energy to the ferrite bar directly. Pretty neat setup. Um, we have the battery compartment here holding four C batteries. I would open it and show it to you, but I'm not going to do that because they like to pop out. <laughs> I'm not going to chase them on video, though that would be funny, right? <laughs> uh, AC cord behind here, UL listed. Beautiful. Made in Taiwan. Little feet on the bottom. So pretty well made radio. <clears throat> Enjoying it. So let's go ahead go to the front here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I told you about the six and a half inch ferrite. Awesome. So let's get to tuning this radio. Let's have a little mini medium wave band scan. So yeah, like I say, I was comparing this radio to a GE Super Radio, and the Super Radio definitely has an edge, um, but it's huge. I mean, a Super Radio is gigantic. It's heavy. It's a little bit bigger to you know grab and go. This is a lot easier to go on little DX trips somewhere. Um, I'm really enjoying the the type of reception it gets. Now we have a little bit of a snowstorm coming through here. A little bit of rain snow mix uh, might affect my reception a little bit. But I am going to follow up this video with a full daytime band scan and a full evening band scan so we can spend more time on the dial if we have trouble tonight. So let's go ahead and turn it on and let's hear what we can hear. Turn my tone up. We'll start out low uh, around 530 and hear what we can hear there. And we'll move our way up the band. Give me one second while I find my list. Is it off to the side? There it is. So you're going to hear some noise of a bunch of radios probably falling over. <laughs> this is the radio desk. Yeah, I keep a cheat sheet. As you can tell. Da -da -da. <laughs> it really helps having all these right here handy. So let's go ahead and start finding some stations. I think I want to see him on heights. Well, that's pretty strong. CHLO, 530, Brampton, Ontario. Uh, 441 miles. They say 250 watts. I always think it's more, but uh, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. Right, now we'll listen to these guys talk. I got, uh, we're going to use the CC Skywave as the frequency checker. It is 10.15 p.m. Central Standard Time near Chicago, Illinois. Give you an idea. Location and time. <laughs> During the day, this is really selective radio, so I had no problem figure, figuring out where I was at in the dial. WAUK, <clears throat> excuse me, 540, Jackson, Wisconsin, 70 miles away, 400 watts at night. And I think it's directional. trends and better protect yourself from sudden death turns. Vantage Point's patented proprietary technology is able to analyze massive quantities of data all around the world in seconds. There's 560 WIND Chicago. Buying too high and selling too low. Text money to 411411. That's M-O-N-E-Y to 411411. It's got great audio on the speaker here. So if you guys buy one of these and you love AM radio, this is just an amazing radio. Software. Text money to 411411. Go to vantagepointsoftware.com for terms, conditions, and privacy policy. Some big news. Sean Spicer is starting a new show on Newsmax TV. 
dated almost 13,000 years ago and found in Montana. It was found back in the 1960s, before the days when we were able to sequence ancient DNA from ancient skeletons and just really look at their genetics and compare them to modern people. So what you're hearing there is some kind of broadcast science or something, <laughs> anthropology. Uh, WNAX, Yankton, South Dakota, which is 460 miles away at 5,000 watts. Pretty awesome find. Montana, where it was found. And they found that the genome, that is the complete DNA of this little child, uh, is more closely related to modern Native Americans than it is. mixing stations tonight. Hi, I'm Jay Farner, CEO of Quicken Loans, America's largest mortgage lender. Let's talk credit card debt for a minute. If you feel you're carrying too much of it, you're not alone. The average household... Okay, this should be 620. ...in credit card debt. Ready for some good news? With a cash-out refinance from Quicken Loans, you can quickly and easily... WTMJ, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Paying off a lot of that high interest credit card debt. A great way to take cash out is with our 30 year fixed rate mortgage. The rate today on our 30 year fixed rate CFCO, Shadow Kids Country. We'll turn that bottle up and drink it, crank it. <laughs> there you go. Get, got the uh, station ID there CFCO, Chatham, Ontario on 630. This is 310 miles. Uh, 6,000 watts in the evening. This direction. Pick up just a little bit of uh, KYFI, St. Louis, Missouri, which is 275 miles, 5,000 watts. That's it right there. <laughs> WMFN, Piatone, Illinois on 640, 75 miles away, 1600 watts. Here we are, 650 Nashville, Tennessee. This is WSM, which is 434 miles. major manufacturers like Forest River, Coachman, Keystone RV, Tiffin Motorhomes, and more. Over 300 RVs in stock. For over 30 years, people have traveled from all over the Midwest to Pontiac. Here's a 670 to score, WSCR, Chicago, Illinois, home of the Cubs. Let's see if we can't pick up 660. I don't think I'm going to. Dakota Access Pipeline is proud to stand alongside the more than 14,000 oil and gas workers. So sports talk here, 690 CKGM, Montreal, Quebec, 763 miles. 
eight-point game. That game was no longer in doubt. Period. It wasn't. So why would Mike Tomlin, as a coach, why would you not pretend contracts for up to two years between private parties, between a union and an, an employer, through binding arbitration? That you know, once a union seven hundred WLW uh, Cincinnati, Ohio, three hundred miles. In 90 days, then a uh, federal mediator comes in and cools things off for 30 days, and then if they can't have an agreement, the federal government would literally impose a contract. <laughs> I don't know. Three one two nine eight. Really scary uh, in the sense of you know, how the government can fill their. Six three zero says all the owners. In many ways, Gary, now they're actually asking for. Yeah, uh, this activity a little bit of an issue here, trying to get seven ten. Well, it's one of those. Give them an inch, they'll take a mile. David says Mariano's Lyle and sticks. Seven seven nine says Trader Joe's too expensive. I'm like, nah, man. I don't know which Trader Joe's you're going. Here's 720 WGN Chicago. May I introduce you to Whole Foods? That is, man, every time I go in there. There you go. Got some good music on Zoomer Radio, CFZM 740, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. It's WSB. Let's see how it sounds on the Skywave. So it's having a hard time on the Skywave, too. But WSB here is uh, uh, Atlanta, Georgia, 630 miles. Exactly. Uh, no. Mild memory loss related to aging. Taking a supplement to improve your memory, but would like to hear from a pharmacist first. Here's a strong station WJR Detroit, Michigan on 760, 270 miles away. So you can safely take care of yourself with confidence. Prevagen, healthier brain, better life. 2019 pharmacy. Start here. Learn more at 2020 Paid for by U.S. Census Bureau. My portfolio is Election. Here's some music on 770. Okay, I'm just barely picking it up. WABC. So it's, it's a bad night for picking up some of these. appreciate professionals who know what they're talking about and are passionate about what they do. I take the same approach in my preparation announcing football games. When it comes to knowing the pulse... Here's 780 WBBM Chicago. Amy Kite of Keller Williams Realty Infinity gives you advice... Monday through Friday, classic radio between 12 a.m. and 1 a.m. Uh, love it. They have lots of, lots of episodes. They Minimal commercials. They try to do a full episode in like half an episode uh, per hour, which is nice full weight of her marketing, which produced multiple offers and sold it for five... <laughs> this thing is like killing the sky wave. <laughs> it's hard to... This guy was having a hard time keeping up. This is CKLW 800 Windsor, Ontario, 270 miles. Plexus, best kept secret. So hop on the web, go to TitanSwordDental.com. That's T-I-T-E-N S-O-R Dental.com. Get that smile you deserve at TitanSwordDental.com. This is the February 17th Advanced Report from the Gallon Group clients and NetworthRadio.com listeners. The highs in the Dow and the S&P this week. This should be WBAP, Fort Worth, Texas, 810 miles and 820. To 
seems like the uh, New York stations aren't happening. So like 810. Just nothing coming out there. Okay. Just had to check. Controls government spending, setting new agenda for 2020. I wanted the JR Ryder East Bay Bus Bus. That's what I wanted. You know? I remember 94. See what this is. Target Center. Sitting up her deck. I didn't have those eight plates. Do you switch me on? I was there as a fan. I remember that. Skyway really trying to hang on. It's WCCO, Minneapolis, Minnesota on 8.30, 310 miles. Coming up as well on Ground Zero. If you have any thoughts on this, you'd add anything to underground facilities. Nice and strong. This is uh, WHAS, Louisville, Kentucky on 8.40. That's about 300 miles away. I mean, this is where we go. Underground, where we are ruled by the underworld. So this is KOA 850, Denver, Colorado, 890 miles for sports talk. Here's a 860 CJBC, Toronto, Ontario. I and Anthony, it's not a uh, here, here. Here's a WWL 870, New Orleans, Louisiana, 865 miles. My hang up with it is that you had better be able to really, really, really prove that someone is worthy of. And it's south. It's a lot of stations jumbled up on 880. It's annoying sometimes. Uh, this is WCBS, New York, New York, somewhere 50 miles. There you go. I think I heard WCBS. James Carter, Detective Eric Steverson, and telecommunicator Kenny Costa of the University of Illinois Police. Here's 890 WLS Chicago. High pitch wine coming from the camera. Champagne. It's later this month, February 24th. Classic radio on CHML 900 Hamilton, Ontario, 430 miles. A lot of stations in here. Wow, I could sit here and try to ID them, but a lot of them are Minnesota, Ontario, some Illinois stations, Michigan stations. Barrett and a couple other guys that are already point guards on the roster. It's just. What, what's, what's the foundation of this? This is what, this is what the Knicks are just always entertaining. Because you can say I think this is 980. Let's take a look. 
There it is, yeah, 980. Um, I think I have a station ID for that. Okay, um, I have KMBZ, Kansas City, Missouri, 490 miles, 5,000 watts. I think that's correct. There's also KKMS, Richfield, Minnesota, 310 miles. So maybe for, you know, for some periods of your life, you're simply too busy. Here's 990, uh, CBW, Winnipeg, Manitoba. Um, Manitoba, <laughs> what I just said there, um, 675 miles. We'll go a little quicker. I think, you know, I've traveled. The Dan Levador show on ESPN Radio. 1000 WMVP Chicago. 80 presented by Progressive Insurance. All guests appear via the Shell Pennzoil. We had a sequence which we cut in the final film. This is not for these. Where a congressman calls them that. A U.S. congressman calls them that. 1020 KDKA Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. 450 miles. Yeah. Now, uh, clear. Oh, it's George. George H. George H. W. Boy. And he was the captain of the Yale team. Right. 1030 WBZ, Boston, Massachusetts, 880 miles. Shot down in the Pacific at the age of eight. Always capitalized. Recognizing that. 1040 WHO, Des Moines, Iowa, 280 miles. In Washington, it could become one of the... KYW 1060, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 700 miles. Okay, this is a WTAM 1100, Cleveland, Ohio, 345 miles. You know, you never know. Maybe you can't know. Here's 1120 KMOX, St. Louis, Missouri, 275 miles. Well, we want to risk that. Spot, and he spoke out. The sentence that was given to Roger Stone fit into the guidelines. You know, there are federal guidelines. It's KFAB 1110, Omaha, Nebraska, 405 miles. Just tuned it back a little bit. In particular, he did a lot of serious crime. Right now, he put Donald Trump's team on Then you can take my show anywhere. On your handheld phone, you're on a laptop, you're on a PC, you're on a Mac, whatever you have. 1140 WRVA, Richmond, Virginia, 665 miles. I'm going to take it to the top of the dial. If you like wearing aluminum hats, you can pick us up there. What's the matter? Hey, you hear questions like that. Christian generation has emerged. There's no. You mean something different. By the way, this dial is pretty much dead accurate. Okay, so there it is, 1660 where it tops out at. All right, so that ends the review of the Realistic 12-655 long-range tuned RF 
circuit. Yeah, I'm really liking this radio. Pretty awesome. If you guys can find one, get one. If you love AM and you want to explore the band, this would be the best radio to use it on. I mean, there's some Panasonic radios that I know are probably pretty equal to this. But uh, this just has a little bit of an edge to it, especially if you don't mind taking the back cover off and tuning it yourself uh, to get the uh, optimal optimal uh, tune frequency in, <laughs> which is awesome. Um, check out those links below. Like I'll have links to this radio uh, if you can find them on eBay. You're really going to hunt for them. And I'll have links to that guy's uh, mod page where he shows it, all the stuff inside, what it looks like. And then, of course, it has a service manual laid out so you can see exactly the sensitivities, how it's built, how you tune it, everything. It's, it's just a really cool radio. A lot different than I'm used to. So enjoying every bit of this. Uh, so there it is. If you enjoyed this video, give me a big like. You guys are the best. If you like realistic brand, I do. I try to collect them all. I'm glad I added this to the collection. Uh, hit subscribe at the bell icon. Get notified of future videos featuring this radio and this brand. I'm going to have a daytime and an evening full band scan for you guys for this radio. And of course, three comment below. We think about the 12-655. Would this be a radio you'd pick up being that you're an AM lover like I am? Let me know. All right, guys, take care, and we'll see you in the next video.